What's going on, wrestling fans? Welcome into another edition of Near Falls with D Hall, a wrestling podcast. Today, it is my favorite episode of the year. My favorite project, the Whippeal preseason preview. So pumped up to release this to you guys. Uh, just right off the bat, we're doing it a little bit different than we did last year. Last year, I had them all together on one. It was like three hours long. It was a lot. This year, I'm changing it up. Each single team is going to have their own little video, their own little episode of the pod. So um, you want to sift through all the other stuff. Uh, super excited for that. We talked to all these different coaches, man. I had 30 guys come on from across double A and triple A, which shattered my uh, my goals for this year, which is awesome. So, yeah, man, I'm just super excited to release this to you guys. It's It was a lot of fun. These coaches were open and honest. Um, they had great insight. And for me, man, just to sit down and, and listen to these guys talk about what they're wrestling. There's not much better in my world. So without further ado, here is the Whippeal preseason preview. Thank you, guys. Love you. Ends. As always, brought to you by Switch Custom Apparel. Welcome to the Near Falls Whippeal Show. Where DR and Kaz are gonna tell you all the things you wanna know. Whether it's Trinity or Spencer Lee or Mr. Kurt Angle, just as Vinny D, where B and Ken and Mac for sure. They got the interviews to suit your soul. Because it's near files in the wheel. Okay, joining me next on the call, we have head coach of North Catholic High School, Mr. Darren Lyles. How are you, sir? Good. How about yourself? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Super pumped up to have you on one of the newer programs of the Whippeal up there in Cranberry, PA, correct? Cranberry Township, yeah. So what's it like uh, taking over a program that's really just kind of taken off the ground? I know that's a new school up there, a massive school. Um, but a beautiful school. Uh, first things first, talk about what it's like uh, taking over a program like that. Um, you know, it's a it's a very interesting uh, endeavor. You know, there's no real blueprint for any high school coach. You kind of just pick up things you've done in your room or maybe your college room if you had the opportunity to wrestle in college. But it's it's a whole new world when you're starting from nothing. And also, like me, I'm I'm originally a public school guy. You know, I went to Elizabeth Ford High School, Southern Allegheny County. So you know, the dynamic of sometimes funding is a new battle and just, you know, getting kids, but there's not really a culture of wrestling. Like, you know, we're a basketball school. I'm the first to say it. We have great basketball teams, <laughs> but you know, like a lot of these kids, like never wrestled day or life. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm excited. I got for the first time in five years, a kid that's wrestled continuously like me from like kindergarten now to his freshman year. So most of the time I'm just, you know, wandering the halls being like, Hey, what do you do in the winter? Do you play basketball, <laughs> you play hockey? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on out. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, it's, it's starting from scratch, like absolutely as scratch as scratch can be. So, you know, it's, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Uh, awesome. I definitely say at least. That's awesome. Well, even though it is a journey and it's new, um, talk about your alumni group. Do you have any guys that are doing things in college or, or post uh, high school that is? Uh, no, we don't have any wrestlers in college yet. Um, like I said, it's a lot about building that culture. Like most mm. of the guys, a lot of times have just, you know, tried it out. Like, Oh yeah. Like I talk them into it or they just want to see what it's like. So, you know, most of our guys, you know, I just had my first four year wrestler graduate last year. You know, the guy that came in as a freshman, wrestled all four years, came in with me when I started the program. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually currently in the reserves. He's at Slippery Rock right now. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, we got some people doing some other stuff. I have one, another kid. He's uh, playing some baseball at Pitt Bradford. But, you know, right, you know give, me, give me a couple of years. Hopefully we'll get a couple, get better uh, alumni update and some guys wrestling in college. All right, my man. I'll, I'll keep you to that. Okay. Next thing on the list, off-season program. How's it going for you guys? Have you been able to get, uh, you know, these guys, get some workouts in with these guys? Yeah, honestly, man, I am so excited about this year. It's it's really just been kind of a cultural shift um, in year five here, man. Uh, you know, there's been times where I didn't even have to bother starting preseason stuff until all fall sports were over. I just wasn't mm -hmm. getting anybody. You know, I had to wait till football was over, wait till soccer was over, wait till cross country was over. Um, then it got to a point where I'd have, you know, two, three guys, you know, kind of coming in. And then, you know, maybe half the team would actually show up before the first official day, you know, where you have to be there. And, you know, I consistently, I had a five or six, you know, from early October, eventually that, you know, more and more started coming as fall sports started ending. You know, my last couple of workouts, I had the full team. 
I, and awesome. I'm just like, man, I'm, you know, I'm like 14 deep right now. And I'm like, wow, you know, from not even be, needing off season workouts practically to, you know, the teams here, they're running, they're lifting, you know, they're getting ready, you know, their buddies are, you know, holding each other accountable, trying to be there. And I'm like, man, so like, it's really exciting. You know, we've, uh, they love the weight room, uh, running not so much, but they love the weight room, but you know, you got to balance it. So, yeah, I've mm. really been really pleased with the effort they're putting out, out there, uh, with the preseason work. So I'm really excited about how hopefully that bridges uh, to the regular season here. So as you've gone through these workouts, uh, you, you mentioned some of these guys are, are holding uh, some of the other kids accountable. Who are some of the leaders that you have identified that are stepping up in your room? Well, um, we have a couple of captains uh, that, you know, one I picked, well, my, me and my previous uh, assistant coach picked, and then we have a couple, I let the kids vote. You know, I, I think you want these people representing you, so who would you want representing? So first off, we have our senior heavyweight, Gabe Paredes, uh, you know, he's coming in, it's his third year, but he you know, does the right things, works hard. You know, just great presence as a leader, you know, big senior heavyweight, you know, that seems to work out sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, another guy, Scott Huffmeyer, really has been putting the work in. Uh, you know, he's my first full-time wrestler. Like, he wrestles mm -hmm. year-round now. It's only his third year, but he's really been grinding. You know, he gets the club works in. The, the running joke now is uh, during our – I made the captains, anyone wanted to try, uh, give a speech saying, hey, why I should be your representative. And he claims he, uh, you know, says he wrestles 10 days a week. <laughs> you know, 10, 10 times a week, but like now, course, we're 10 days awesome. a week now, 10 days a week is kind of our, our call to call to arms now at practice, but no, he's working, um, uh, up at OMP. So, you know, he's, you know, wrestled a lot of off season tournaments. Um, you know, it, he's really, you know, dedicating himself to the sport. So I'm hoping, you know, all those, uh, labors really come through. And then our last captain, Justin Barris, just a really good personal guy works his butt off in the weight room, you know, tries to incorporate everyone tries to show anyone the ropes. So we have a, a, a kind of a balance of like your full-time wrestler, your, you know, upperclassman leader and a guy that can really like work with some other people. So I'm really excited for those three to kind of lead these guys, um, you know, throughout the season. Other side of the coin, freshmen or newcomers coming into your program that you're excited about? Well, I told you, I got my first, uh, you know, career wrestler, uh, uh, Victor Wagner, you know, he's going to be a freshman uh, 107 and, you know, 107 is, is a weight class. You, you kind of just wait to see what happens with it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but from what I've seen, looks good. I'm really excited. Like, you know, sometimes a lot of my kids, you know, it's first day of practice. Here's a wrestling stance. Right, you know? right. He's like, okay, he's been here, done that before. You know, he's he's another club guy that goes around and wrestles. Um, not a freshman per se, but, you know, I told you I get a lot of first-year wrestlers. I got another sophomore. He's a first-year guy. I think he's going to be real tough in a couple of years and once he actually gets some experience. Logan Brethauer. Um, he actually started wrestling because he – his life goal was to be a professional MMA fighter. Like he's serious about this. Like that's awesome. The kid already has the call flyer even before wrestling. Hey, my man, that's a good start. You yeah, want to? So he was you know, uh, jitsu, the best, you know, for it. Yeah, for sure. yeah. So he's like he's a jujitsu guy that has some like you know Muay Thai boxing experience. Because well, wrestlers mm. are, are killing MMA, so I want to learn that. And he had a time before the season last April started going to club just to pick up some stuff before his first day. So he definitely he has that like intensity mindset. So he's definitely a little bit different monster than even our rooms used to seeing. So I'm really excited for him too. Awesome. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> room games, kickball, dodgeball, stickball, handball, snake. I heard squirrel. What do you guys get into? Yeah, we get into tough stuff. You know, we obviously go to dodgeball. We play a def couple different types. Uh, we play zombie. So if like you get hit, you have to like stand on your knees and if you pick up a ball and hit someone else, you're back in. Uh, we have something we call communist dodgeball. It's it's Chinese dodgeball, but we just like <laughs> communist dodgeball. You know, the classic, yeah. you hit me, you know, that. Um, mm -hmm. We're really trying this year. My, my, I really want to try to talk to because I do have some soccer players and some actually pretty decent soccer players mm. that I'm trying to get a big three on three league going. Like we actually keep standings Ooh. of like three on three soccer. I'm like, hey, give me those little mini nets. I see it practice. I don't know anything about soccer, but I'm like, give me those little mini nets. And we'll like, I'll keep this is your team for the year. So when we draft That's this awesome. team, like think about who you're picking and like mm -hmm. we have a little three on three league going. So um, that's pretty much pretty much, you know, you know, the stereotypical wrestling games. I love that. That's good stuff. Uh, interesting soccer. I haven't heard that yet. Good for footwork for sure. Um, okay. Next thing I have on the list, coaching staff, who's helping you out this year? Well, I actually have to change the coaching staff. You know, we talked a little bit about, you know, Zach Kelly was my assistant last year, dude. He's as legit as it comes, man. You know, he is an amazing coach, but you ain't got to tell me nothing. That's my yeah, I know, I you do, Zach Kelly. You know, you know, I have a lot of respect for West A people, man. Uh, yeah, man. yeah, you know, but he's, uh, he, him and his wife welcomed his third child, uh, this fall. So, you know, now he's outnumbered at the house. So he needs to kind of take a step. Going back. his own defense is a little bit tougher than man. No yeah, doubt. Yeah, yeah. And I, I saw that. I'm like, I bet he needs to step back. And he's actually hey, kind of like being involved. I'm like, dude, yeah, I totally understand. He's like, I'll come as much as I can. And I'm like, you know, like any day I can have you, I absolutely want you. Right. Um, but I was, I'm like the luckiest person for like, you know, starting from like scratch and 
somehow I had a mat when I started. Uh, that, that was my, my first big lucky thing. I didn't have to purchase a mat. Um, then I somehow lucked into Zach because he just became a math teacher at the building. You know, I teach social studies there. And then I lucked out again. I'm, I'm looking for a new coach. And I, I reach out to parents like, hey, ask the clubs. Like, is there any up and coming guy that, you know, you could pick up, you know, that wants to coach high school? You know, it's not a glamorous mm -hmm. job, you know, not a super high paying job, but like you get a good experience. Uh, you put this on a resume, you help grow yourself as a coach. And I lucked into this guy, my coach, new assistant coach, Josh Villa, man. He's something. He's something like he's actually in school. He literally, he's from New Jersey, Hillsdale, New Jersey. So, you know, Jersey wrestling, great place for wrestling as well. Course. Um, he, you know, wrestled for club in South Carolina. So, you know, kind of wrestled through club a little bit and he's in town cause he's in a PT school at Chatham. Mm. And I asked, Hey man, can we make his schedule work? Cause obviously he has classes and stuff, but his schedule, we can make it work between him and Zach and dude, he, he's, he's good, man. Like he has a good junior high base, which I think some of our kids is great, but he also has high school experience, some mm -hmm. youth experience, so all different levels. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know how long he's going to be able to be with us, how long he's going to be in town. You know, I love him in the room. But if he ever gets the opportunity, he's going to be a great head coach himself one day. Like he's, awesome, he's legit man. too. Very cool stuff. I love that. Uh, okay. Next thing I got on the docket mm -hmm. here, uh, schedule. You, you mentioned a few times you're, you're kind of building this thing up. How are you preparing these guys uh, for the end of the year? You're, you're kind of higher level guys at the same time as trying to, uh, you know, build the culture uh, that, that you're talking about. Yeah. Schedule. You know, I, I sometimes, you know, you go back to what you know. I love opening the season at Shar Houston. You know, we talked, you know, the West Day EF at Shar Houston. I think it's just a great tournament. To, you know, not going to like buzzsaw you, but there's definitely some talent there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, good overall level there. You know, South Moon Holiday Classic, another good level for us. Um, you know, our section is, you know, you know, most of our dual meets, we've got a couple of non conference. Uh, I think, you know, trying to divide between the higher level, lower level guys, I think just kind of building that consistency. Um, throughout the year like after south moreland we're pretty much every wednesday from you know mm -hmm. that point to pretty much section so it's very regimental so maybe getting those guys in, in, a, in a pattern really help them out but i think um you know last year we went to the trinity duels and that was just you know that was a me issue uh, that was a coach live and learn like we are <laughs> way above our heads and i had like guys out sick and someone had something going on and it was just like i think you look at the scores they're like comically bad like i i think i mean might have got shot out twice yeah, yeah. Was, that was a know, tough tournament right off the rip last year. That was a really good one. Yeah, like, yeah, we're, we're even wrestling Erie Cathedral prep, and you know, we're wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you know, yes. like, it's like Trinity's yeah, man, pretty I, good too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I didn't think this through, guys. This is my bad. You know, maybe happens. maybe you guys aren't ready to get kicked out of the nest like that. So <laughs> uh, definitely, I think with our guys, um, it's kind of a build up. You know, it's always about peaking at the end of the year. Every mm -hmm. coach wants that. You know, from you know junior high to you know college wants to peak at the end of the year. So I think for us, like get those matches in a lot of matches. Try to get them in early. Because we have, you know, Shar Houston, we have Upper St. Clair duels, we have South Mullen Invitational. And then I know some people like to do stuff early end of January. I, like I said, I'm just riding pretty much with the dual meets. I think we close out the year with the Gateway Quad, which is, you know, three, four matches at the end of the year. But really just kind of building that regiment of like, hey, make sure weights aren't getting out of control. Um, just getting prepared to wrestle every week. You know, you're not, you know, killing yourself. You know, sometimes, you know, coaches get a week off. They get excited like, oh, maybe I should like really tune it up this week. And sometimes you end up wearing your guys out a little bit. So I think having that good process is really where we want to be. I agree. Uh, social media is how can we follow your squad this year? Uh, well, if you can follow us on Instagram at NC Wrestling, NC Wrestling. Uh, Twitter, we don't really have a Twitter, but I do. And I'm pretty much the de facto Twitter for NC Wrestling. So you do coach underscore Lyles. You know, I always give updates you know, when I can, you know, after a certain point after every dual meet. So I'm pretty good with that. Um, so that's probably our best two ways to follow us. Uh, I don't do TikTok. Sorry, I don't know if other teams do that. <laughs> hey, you got any of your kids doing TikTok? They, they dancing in the background or anything? I, I, hope, not. I <laughs> hope not. I hope not. I, <laughs> said I, I now, years ago, never do MySpace, and TikTok's my new MySpace, where I vow never to get one. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yeah, man, I didn't get a MySpace either. Uh, you know, I guess that, that was our, our era. That's dating us. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anything or anyone you want to shout out before I leave you go, my friend? Uh, first of all, I gotta shout out my assistant AD, Ryan Parrish, man. He came in a, a year ago, um, former summit head coach. Uh, he do, he has been a revelation just with planning, helping out. Like he is such a huge help just in the back end. I think people really underestimate how much us coaches do. That's just not actually wrestling. So, you know, just helping out with some of the aspect, making sure everything's cleaned up. Cause there was points where I was kind of just like, Hey, whoever was kind of running the show for a point. Cause there weren't a lot of wrestling people in there. Hey, can we get in this tournament? Or, Hey, I've, talk to this team to get a dual meet and I was kind of scheduling myself and yeah. kind of making things work. Now I, you know, I could at least like 
take that off my plate uh, to, you know, not have to worry about that anymore. So big shout out to him. Uh, and then I always have to give my shouts to my alma mater, Mountain Union, Purple Raiders. Always love to them. That's also awesome. To I had also, their coach on. He's a good yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I was excited, man. You know, my two worlds collide, and I love it. Whitfield Wrestling and Mountain Union. And always, I got to give a shout out to the hometown, Elizabeth PA, Elizabeth Ford High School. Never forget where you come from, man. You know, I always That's appreciate awesome. them building me up. So, yeah, man, good stuff, man. You're hitting me right in the field, shouting out your hometown squad and shouting out your college, man. I love that. Good stuff as always. And, <clears throat> I'm sure I will have you on again at some point. We're going to be doing a Tuesday show during the season, so maybe I'll sneak you on, you know, and, or on, one man. of the kids or whatever the case. Um, but, yeah, my friend, good luck this season. I'm sure I'll see you out there. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, man. I really appreciate it. My man, appreciate you. Thanks, man.